and the their need just to move on with life because a lot of people are fighting just to get by now do you think that's that's where this problem lies because we'll take what we are given i think you see there's what you call pent-up anger kenyans are not happy they're doing what they're doing out of necessity you see for example you see you don't have the traffic jams that you used to have now in no. town people are doing what we told them to do they're pulling they're sharing vehicles so that they consume less fuel and the statistics now show that in fact the fuel consumption has gone down as a result the revenue that they hoped to raise by increasing the, the price of fuel is not coming it's coming people are now consuming less instead so uh, some Kenyans are also going without food because uh, they, they can't afford over, over lunch time so the, the the restaurants are also not making as good business mm -hmm. as they are making at the other time so the private sector is affected in the steel consumption uh, has gone down uh, so you're having what you call um, uh, um, uh, an effect, a bigger effect uh, on the economy than, than, than would have been the case if they had not came out, come up with this very uh, high taxes. Okay. See, like now, most people will tell you that the take home is just 30% of the gross. 70% mm -hmm. uh, is going into taxes. So most Kenyans are really in die hard streets. Okay. Mm. You're saying take the, take, take the salary, give us the taxes. <laughs> because it's better to have the taxes. Mm. Let's talk about corruption. You said this government is a product of corruption. They cannot fight corruption. That's what you said. Yes. First, you know that a number of people with pending corruption cases who have, whose, whose cases have been dropped and uh, put into high positions in this government. Okay? That, that, that's one. And um, then now you've seen how they've been running the, the government. And I'll just give you an example. One of uh, this uh, KNTC, Kenya National Trading Corporation. It was a corporation that was there, uh, formed in the 60s by the then government when they were talking about Africanization to enable Africans to get involved in the commercial enterprises. It was the one that was used to the, the quick notice when the Asians who were not citizens of the country mm -hmm. were given an option either to take Kenyan citizenship or to take the British citizenship, but we move and move out of retail businesses. So KNTC was the corporation for which people were getting loans to purchase the businesses of the outgoing Asians. Okay. Now, since that time, it, it remained, it's been dormant. But then they revived it, saying that they wanted to use it to empower people to, uh, or, or to import certain commodities to lower the cost of living. But what has been happening is that KNTC has not been importing anything. These people, as close people to the government, are the ones who are being given licenses by KNTC to open letters of credit and to import commodities. And from February this year, they have imported large quantities. They imported maize, they imported wheat, mm -hmm. imported rice, sugar, and cooking oil. Uh, and then these commodities are coming duty free at the port of Mombasa. But then they are going to the companies operated by the, the well connected people. And then, but now they are being dumped in the local market to compete with the ones which are manufactured here. This has actually uh, created. Uh, problems for the local manufacturers 
a company like Birko uh, and uh, others doing the cook, cooking oil uh, have actually laid off over 2,000 people because they cannot compete with uh, this refined oil coming from Dubai uh, into the markets here. And we know people who are involved. We have invoices showing you that sugar manufactured in Sony is cheaper than sugar which is being imported by these people mm -hmm. into the country uh, uh, and so on and so forth. So they've been making a killing in this. And these are people who are associated with, with the system. Okay. You see the real estate homes are being bought like here in Karen. You know, one person in the government buys five, seven buildings in an estate under construction and pays cash. Uh, so uh, the, 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 there's a lot of what you call primitive accumulation of wealth mm -hmm. which is going on in, in, in this regime which you know of and we also know those who are involved the, see the, the driving engines and, and you have to be who, and who, who is who mm -hmm. to, to, to benefit. Are you going at some point to name these names and put them on the spotlight? The people are involved in these corruptions in the country. Yes, I mean, uh, they, they're known, and of course, uh, a time will come, I think, that um, something will be done. But, but what I'm trying to say is mm -hmm. that there's corruption in this regime, they're accusing the previous regime of corruption. Not that I'm defending the previous regime at all, mm -hmm. uh, but, but this, this corruption it's, it's come back to a level that is only comparable to the new era. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I want to talk about two more issues. I want to talk about uh, one of the issues that you took before the dialogue team, uh, that's uh, strengthening um, multi-party democracy. But before I talk about that, uh, from where you sit, it's been one year, um, you could have been sitting here as president because this is your home but you're not sitting there as president but i'm more concerned with the people who worked with you closely who have since uh, left and decamped so before i talk about members of parliament your staunch allies who campaigned for you who are now on the other side and uh, rooting for the president do you and even your very close allies and even aides people who worked close with you do you feel betrayed sometimes when you sit in your house and look at them, watch them on television, feel this is not right? No, not at all. I mean, uh, uh, people are, are free. The people who do it out of necessity. They are looking for opportunities. They are trying to survive. Uh, they're looking for uh, maybe a job to do, contracts to perform and so on. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I sympathize with some of them. I, I, I have no, no issues at all with them at all. Okay. Mm. I'd like to pick one because it's been in the media in the last one week. And this is one of the people who worked with you since uh, you were prime minister. Um, he told the media the other day in an interview, he, he said that it's time for Raila Odinga, not his words, but sort of it's time for Raila Odinga to move aside to let Kenya move on. Is that something that you think it's time that Raila Odinga, who he's worked with, move aside and just let Kenya move on? I don't know whom you are talking about. Uh, 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 if you are specific. <laughs> this was Silas Chakakimba. Uh, yes, who worked with you very closely until the last minute. Leave Silas alone. Silas is uh, uh, like that. He's been on and off. When, whenever we are out in problems, he's the other side. When things change, he comes and apologizes. <laughs> we welcome him back. 
Well, no, so those are opportunities, uh, and uh, there are so many. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not the only ones. Uh, but you asked me to be specific, and because this is happening in the last one week or so, that's why I was specific with this. No, uh, it's, it's like my son is, uh, you know, you can call him a prodigal son. <laughs> you wonder like that, later on he'll come and, and, and apologize. Mm -hmm. uh, the other time he picked an issue with my daughter. Yes. And people were thinking that my daughter was the one who is in a problem. I said, no, he's looking for an excuse to, to jump over to the other side. <laughs> and, and he didn't take long. He didn't take long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, so the, the other one is uh, Felix Oduor Jalango, which I want to talk about strengthening because one of the things you have uh, done this time around is even expelled members of uh, parliament from ODM. And I know this is something that you did previously when, when uh, you left a party, you went back to the people. They have gone to court and the court has halted this process. But I'm looking at the recent history, apart from voluntary uh, movement like yours, it's very hard to remove them. So Felix has also said that he has no problem with Baba. He's just there looking for development. You see, first, uh, it was wrong to say that ODM was expelled, remember. We did not expel any member. Okay. We just read the law and said that there's 